in the next uh, screencast, um, we'll write a uh, simple uh, three-tier web application. And uh, our application will use uh, Firefox web browser uh, as uh, in, in, tier, in tier one. Uh, in uh, second tier, it'll use uh, Python uh, CGI HTTP server running on Ubuntu. And uh, the third tier will be um, uh, a simple uh, Python arithmetic server. Um, and, uh, well, the server, um, this Python arithmetic server, will just um, accept um, uh, input um, in the format uh, password um, and uh, colon expression, uh, where uh, password is just a sequence of uh, alphanumeric uh, characters. We're not going to encrypt it, just pass it as a sequence. And uh, the PyMath server uh, will verify uh, the password uh, before uh, doing any computation. And uh, expression is an arithmetic, so expression uh, will be an arithmetic expression of the form so let's use the Bacchus-Nauer notation. Uh, num1 uh, operator uh, num2. Right, uh, where uh, num1 uh, is a, uh, a number uh, and, uh, uh, and num2 is a number, um, an integer, so num1 and uh, num2 are uh, numbers, not necessarily integers. I said integers, but they don't have to be. And uh, an operator is uh, either uh, plus or uh, times. Right, so this arithmetic server uh, will take two numbers and uh, compute their sum or uh, uh, product. So the client browser uh, will request um, that the Python CGI HTTP server uh, will run, will run uh, a specific script. Um, the uh, script uh, will be, the name of the script will be um, math underscore client.pl, uh, which uh, we will write in uh, um, April, right? Uh, and uh, um, so uh, a simple URL would be the HTTP request will contain a simple URL. Uh, HTTP, uh, for example, local host 800. CG, CGI bin uh, math client question mark and uh, the input will be in the form for example x equals 2 and operator equals plus and y equals uh, 2.5 so this will be the HTTP request uh, that the web browser will contact uh, the server with. And then uh, the server will uh, run this math client. Uh, math client, oops, I made a mistake. It has to be mathclient.pl right before uh, the question mark. And uh, uh, the server will run this mathclient.pl, and the mathclient.pl will contact uh, the PyMath server, um, process the input, right, extract it, uh, will get the password, um, and uh, the password, will the PyMath server and mathclient.pl will uh, share the password. So it will generate the necessary input uh, to the PyMath server. The input will be in the form uh, password um, colon expression. So in this case, 
the input will be uh, password uh, colon and then uh, uh, 2 uh, plus 2.5 so that will be uh, will be a string right a string password uh, 2 uh, plus 2.5 so this um, this input uh, will be this input uh, will be sent to the PyMath server. The PyMath server will process the input, uh, will generate uh, 4.5 in this case, right? Because 2 plus 2.5 is 4.5, so 4.5, that number. Uh, and uh, give it back to Math Client, and then the Math Client will generate some simple, very simple HTML. Uh, and uh, that HTML will be displayed in the Firefox web browser.